Emily, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm showing you how to make some DIY room decor. If you like the video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and turn on my post notifications. Oh by the way, this is in my room. This is our guest room. I was filming another video in here and I didn't want to redo the lighting and everything. It is kind of tricky. I spent an hour on this so appreciate it. Okay, let's go. start out with some sort of jar or bowl. This is from Joann's. And then I also used some suede cording. And I actually used this entire thing. So I unraveled all of it. And then I cut it in half. So then you will have two pieces of string. So take one of them and put it underneath the bowl. So there's like an even amount on each side. Then tie a knot in the top. So it's kind of like... It's like a circle then at this point, you know? Like a loop around your bowl, soon to be terrarium. Then I carefully flipped the entire thing over and hot glued this to the bottom. Do not burn yourself because I was stupid enough to touch the hot glue. I didn't show it here, but it really hurt. So don't be dumb. Then once you're finished with this, repeat the process with your other string, but put this one perpendicular to your first one. So same thing, tie it at the top and then Flip it all over and hot glue it. And then you have this cool cross string thing. So then you'll need some fake plants. I got these from Joann's as well. And I also used this fake vine or like hanging, I don't know what you call it, but that was like the key to my thing because I really wanted this to be hanging down. So you can see right here where I'm putting it in. So it will hang down out of there. Just align your plants so it's not obvious that there's no dirt or anything in your pot. You can put some in if you want to, but I didn't. Next, you need some command hooks. These are the ones that hold three pounds. So I just peeled off the backing and stuck it on according to the instructions. And then I went ahead and adhered this to my wall and hung my plant and I'm in love with this. I think it looks so good. Urban Outfitters sell stuff like this, but like who needs Urban Outfitters when you have DIY, am I right? I can see you hurting, I've been through the same thing so all you need are some fairy lights and then some tape that is the same color as your walls. Make sure it's washi tape so it won't rip off the paint. Then I found this picture of a cloud neon sign online and I decided to try to recreate it with fairy lights. So I folded the strip of lights in half so this way there would be more lights going around and it wouldn't just look like random dots of light on the wall if that makes any sense. And then I put a piece of tape basically anywhere that I felt necessary. Necessary. And as you can see here, attempt number one didn't turn out too great. So I went back, adjusted a bunch of things, and eventually it actually looked like a cloud. And I think this ended up looking so cool and a much cheaper alternative to those neon signs that are all over the internet. Club isn't the best place to find the love, so the bar is where I go. So you need three wooden dowels and then spray paint in your color of choice. I decided to use gold and go ahead and spray paint your dowels. Hey, so I'm in my garage right now spray painting and it is very, very cold. This garage floor is really my aesthetic. Okay, let's do this with this amazing lighting. Oh, it's not gonna on the floor. So after I froze to death spray painting, I decided to take some string. This is actually embroidery floss, but you can use any string and it tie a knot connecting all three of your dowels. Then take whatever it is you want your little pyramid thing to go over and balance it. You can hot glue the dowels together, but I was like, nah, I'll just balance it. And it worked. And this is honestly the easiest DIY I've ever done, but I love how this turned out. So that's it for the video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on my post notifications, maybe so you can see every time I post a video. Oh, you can comment down below your favorite DIY that I did. I think that's it. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.